Hey passengers, so we just landed in Disney Springs and we are going to just enjoy the day and I'm here with Joe, I'm here with Bob and we did not plan this but we're all wearing red today. Today is Wednesday, it is the 5th of May. We're going to get our temperature screen uh, checked, hi! We're going to get temperatures checked and then we're going to head into Disney Springs, we're going to have some dinner and hopefully we can bring you along and have a lot of fun. So we just went through security and it was simple. We got our temperatures checked. We had to go through a metal detector, but I didn't hear any beeps. I just saw the lights and then I tried to take a look at the screen to see what it was. I couldn't determine it, but we're here. We're in Disney Springs and it's been a while since I've been here. It looks like the escalator is closed, so we gotta walk down the stairs. Cool, look, you get some cakes. Little photo. Okay. So we're in Amaretta's pastry. Amaretta's, sorry, I said Amaretta's. A little goofy. Definitely you can tell who these are. They're the favorites. And they're doing some stamping. Amanda's stamping out some shapes. Looks like a circle. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at these crepes. Oh my goodness. Are you in a mood to eat or what? My, my, my. Uh, and over here we have something that's a tree that needs loose in the middle. Other vloggers have tried these shiny. Let's do it. We're getting that. We're trying it. Let's try it. Hi. Hi there. Can we try one one of the Mickey Mouse? The Mickey Moose? One of them. Oh, look. <laughs> We're going to have one of those. Oh, perfect. We're going to have it together. We'll share it. Well, it is time. Thank you all. So how much was this? Nine something? $18. $18 is not the real number. Bye, y'all. How much was it? Nine dollar? Fifty nine cent. Grab the tail. Have that tail. Is that this chocolate? Chocolate. The mouse ears. The butt is already gone. The tail. All right. What is this? This is a. What do you think? pretty good. It's a lot of gelatin because of the design to keep it together. That's not seven or dessert. I don't eat a lot of desserts. It's, it's lighter than that. I like it. It's a bot. Matt. Joe got the last bite. Alright. Let's see what else we can find. Follow along. Alright, so we're looking at the poutine gourmet frites. Ooh, Korean barbecue fries. Oh my god. Do you see what I see? Oh, of course. No, I can't. Please go around us. Thank you so very much. Oh, I really want it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Can I do it? Can I do it? No, I can't do it. No. You don't try it now, they might not have it. Alright, let's do it. We're trying it. I have to try it. I'm trying. Got to try it. Hi, folks. All right, so we just ordered the Korean barbecue fries. Yes, thank you. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Here they are. All right, they don't. Uh, we got to find fork somewhere. Somewhere. Forks are to the side. We're told. Thank you all very much. And then we got the Arendelle Aqua Punch, which Bob ordered. So yeah, this is a Korean food fries. So we are here at the poutine, the daily poutine gourmet fries, and we got Korean stuff, and Joe's already got his claws in there. Gourmet frites. Right. Gourmet frites. I just saw that. That's really good. Does it taste like Korean? It 
Well, it does, but it's it's got some spice. It definitely tastes that Korean spice. All right, well, hopefully he'll hold up for, so we can try it too. <laughs> but, but the Arendelle punch is actually really good. I don't know if there's alcohol in there, is there? Yeah, there is. Coconut rum. Coconut rum? I don't taste it at all. It just tastes like a nice fruit punch. Tasty. And then I got the uh, uh, Canadian beer. So it's been a while since I've had this. It's tangy. It tastes like a cheap beer. Canadian friends of mine. I love you. But this beer, it's, it's got a little bitter taste to it, almost. It's got... Yeah, it's almost like a bittery flavor to it, a little bit, but... Alright, so, but the winner is going to be this. I can tell already. I gotta try it. Bob, have you tried it? Not yet. Like, I love Korean food. I absolutely love Korean food. And this is Korean flavor. 100% Korean flavor. That is good. With the french fry though, it's weird. Like, I never expected to have french fries with Korean flavor. I don't know if I ever want to have it without it now. I think it's perfect together. It's gonna work. It works. Like, I'm going for another bite. Excuse my bite. I normally don't eat like this. I do the full It's good. They've, they've nailed the Korean flavor. They got that. They got that right. Fries for me. Yeah. yeah that's true. Maybe the fries can be changed a little bit. These are a little bit more steak fries type of. Maybe a little shoestring would be better. Maybe a little bit more of the Korean flavoring with it. But you know what? We'll eat it all. All right, passengers. So we have almost killed this whole thing. It was amazing. It was really flavorful. And this is um, a Korean barbecue french fries. The reason that they're having this is because they're honoring the Asian Pacific Heritage Month. So here in Disney Springs, and today's date is the 5th of March. Excuse me, 5th of May. Yeah, I didn't mean to say March, I'm sorry. Cinco 5th of May. May, yeah. Oh my gosh, it is Cinco de Mayo. Taco day. Oh. We have to go get margaritas. I didn't, oh my, I didn't even think of Cinco de Mayo. Oh. Okay, so anyway, I'm sorry. I digress. If you get to Disney Springs, try this. If you don't, make it at home. I think your family will like it. I think I'm going to start doing a little bit more flavor um, into my daily dishes that would just be simple. You know, forget ketchup. Try this. This was amazing. This was so good. You know, you, he got himself a uh, punch, got some drinks in it. We'll get a photo of that, add it to it. And this may be our dinner. We may just do a little like poo poos tonight and just walk around, and grab little things, but we may do something else. We'll see. All right, y'all, follow along. So this gentleman here, I'm sorry. Hi. So he just was like, I gave you all a follow, and we thank you very, very much. I think you saw the shirt. Yeah, I saw the shirt. He saw the shirt. Awesome. Thank you. Well, have fun. Starting up a YouTube channel. Oh, you are you? Who are you? Uh, so it's under my wife's name, Kristen Barbosa. Um, okay. Is that her channel name? Yeah, that's her channel name. Okay. Nice. You all live here in town? Oh uh, yeah, we actually just moved down here. Perfect. Yeah. Make so. Sure Definitely, definitely. Awesome, thank you. Enjoy. So this dragon is enjoying the weather, the Lego dragon, and the birds are enjoying it too. They're just hanging out on top of them. You see that? That's cool. My, 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 look at here. We've got some Lego Star Wars cre uh, villains. I say villains, but, oh. Captain Plasma, I forget this one's name. We've got Kylo Ren, and then, of course, not a villain at all. We got Chewbacca or Chewie, and then we have uh, Ray as well, which is awesome. So they're definitely not the villains. We've got some this Disney characters. That's what I was trying to say. How cool is that? Look at all this artwork done. Just how look at that. That is so neat. So cool. Let it go. Just let it go, y'all. Let it go. Oh, look at Olaf. Hi, Olaf. 
It's sunny. It's out here. It's summer. It's summer. Hi, Anna. Anna and Elsa. Look at the detail that they've done here. Look at this. I want to get a little closer. How cool. This is so cool. And Elsa with her dress just waving in the wind and her cape as well. How cool is that? And as we've turned here, the man, the myth, the legend is right here. Mickey Mouse. Oh my goodness. Oh. Hi Mickey. Wow. I wish I could have that in my own house. That's so awesome. The Fantasmic version of Mickey. Look at that. How cool is this? Oh. So awesome. I've never been in the balloon. Have you? Nope. Looks like, air balloon. It looks like it's coming down. It they got a menu here. I don't know what this restaurant is. Okay. I'm not sure about the prices. I'm not happy with them. So that's probably why I don't know anything about it. I like to save money by not eating at places that charge an arm and a leg for something I can get cheaper. That tastes just as good, so I'm that guy. The paddlefish. I've never been in here. It looks like it's a permanent fixture and does not work, so I'm allergic to uh, seafood, so if you ever see me eating it, I've got my EpiPen and I've got my uh, my uh, Benadryl nearby and the boathouse. One day we're going to eat here, but you know what? I really wanted to do the ride. It's a uh, it's a little pricey, but I just wanted to do it one day. Maybe yeah, I don't know when, but hopefully we can do this sometime soon. When I say soon, within this year, I should say. So I think it'd be a lot of fun. And look, oh, that's how it turns around. Okay, see, they just came in. They got a little spinny wheel here. Nice. How cool is that? They just came back in and just put the set the tires down. The, the chalks. Awesome. We've got the Gideon's Bakehouse. So in the beginning when it first opened, it was hours worth of waiting. Oh look, wait, I gotta stop. The George Wine Bar. You can get wine while you're waiting. Oh, there it is, wine bar. Yeah, this is the Wine Bar George. We have to do this one day. We have to. Okay, all right, I digress. Anyway, the Gideon's Bakehouse, so long of a wait just to get in. And it looks like there is still a line just to get in here. Look at this line, y'all. Sometimes you gotta have the reservation, sometimes they're not full enough, so you can just jump on in. But I think we're going to do something different tonight. I think we're just going to just whatever floats our boat, we're going to go to it right then, right then. So I'd never get to come here. I'm usually alone, so it's really fun to be here with others. And Bob and Joe are with me today. So I actually get a chance to see the place more than I normally do. I, I'm kind of impressed. I wish they didn't have the Disney prices though. We got a $7 happy hour. It's margarita day. I gotta do a margarita on Cinco de Mayo. Guys, so it's margarita. It's Cinco de Mayo. Hi! Hi, Maria! So, Cinco de Mayo, and I'm gonna get myself a margarita. Uh, Joe's getting himself a margarita. I got a Coors Light just to walk away with. And then Bob, though, he doesn't like margaritas, so he's getting a P37. Y'all are missing out. They've got a special for Cinco de Mayo. We may have to pick it up later. This is a special a flight, tequila flight. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I don't have to work tomorrow because I think I'm going to be celebrating for a while. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be fun. So Cinco de Mayo, I got myself a margarita. I got a cerveza. He got himself a fruit punch. 
and Margarita for Joe as well. All right, y'all. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Enzo's Hideaway Tunnel Bar. Open nightly for dinner, 5 to 10. So, we were thinking about doing that real quick. It's open. But, if we go there, we're going to miss out on what we want to do, which is the macaroni and cheese, and then go somewhere else later. So, we got to stop ourselves. we got to be able to say, no, we're not doing it. So, yes, it's open. But, we'll take, we'll take a look at this next time. Mac and cheese, there it is. The food truck that Bob has been wanting. I think he's been wanting this for several, several years. How long have you been wanting to try this macaroni and cheese? 17 years. 17 this years. truck opened back in 19. All right. That's not true. He's been wanting to try it for a while, so. So Bob wants to order from uh, the mac and cheese truck, but you don't actually order from the truck itself. You order from a central location from one of the three that you want, you know, trucks that they got, I guess. And that's where he's ordering from, so he's getting himself just something to taste. What's macaroni and cheese fritters. That is not what you wanted. You wanted the real ones. I like a real macaroni and cheese. Mac and cheese fritters are six dollars. That's what he got, and this is a uh, macaroni and cheese truck. I think this is kind of like a permanent fixture, though. So inside the fritter, here we go. It's about macaroni and cheese, and that look at that. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it does smell so good. You can smell the icing. Mm. Hi, y'all. How many up balloons do you sell a day? I heard it's a really limited number. 30. 30 a day. And here they are. Hey, y'all. So it is time to fly away. We've had a wonderful day today. We are going to be back tomorrow for something else, and we shall see you then. Please tell your friends about us and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for future notifications. We sure do have a lot of fun making these videos, and we hope you like them as well. Thank you. We'll see you soon. We gotta fly now. Bye.